Stormwater flooding has become all too common for people living in the Rockaways. And so the city is trying out an earth friendly innovation to make this area more resilient. CBS 2's Elle McLogan, who covers Queens for us, has the story tonight. Just steps from the Rockaway Beach and Boardwalk, water gushes from a hose onto the street. But instead of pooling, as you might expect, the water disappears like magic. That's because this is no ordinary pavement. DDC Commissioner Thomas Foley. The first time the city is using permeable concrete, it can hold about over a million gallons per year. Built off site, the porous panels are installed at the curb line over a layer of soil, soaking up rainwater to reduce flooding. We have about 11,000 square feet of them here um, at Beach 108. This marks the completion of a city project several years and more than $16 million in the making. The reconstruction of Rockaway Corridor brings a new roadway, bike lane, and resiliency measures. This work builds on lessons learned from Sandy. After devastation from Superstorm Sandy and the remnants of Hurricane Ida, the coastal area remains vulnerable to severe weather. For Vincent Sapienza of the DEP, the problem is urgent. We're definitely seeing more intense rainfalls. Uh, you know, we, we believe that's happening from climate change. As the weather gets warmer, uh, more ocean water gets uh, evaporated, becomes clouds, and then and then pours heavy rain. So, um, you know, flooding it, in many cases it's just a nuisance, but in some cases it can be dangerous, life-threatening. We saw that uh, during Hurricane Ida. With the new absorbent concrete, locals should feel an immediate benefit during heavy rainfall. Experts say it could also reduce pollution, preventing wastewater from overwhelming the sewers and pouring into Jamaica Bay. It's an example of the type of green infrastructure required under the city's new unified stormwater rule and officials say the porous pavement is so promising they plan to replicate the project across the borough and beyond. In Queens, Elle McLogan, CBS 2 News. And L is our community reporter covering Queens. If you have a story idea for her, send her an email, queenstip at cbs.com.